Hey, it's Dr. Charles, AKA Coach MD. I'm here to help you create a great life by achieving a healthy body, a strong mind, and an unshakable spirit. Today, I'm going to talk to you about why it's important to know your blood sugar. In an earlier video, I, I talked to you about a lot about what is blood sugar, what it does to our body, but you know, why is that important? Well, it's important because this will affect our overall health. We need blood sugar, no doubt about it. We need sugar in our blood to affect and give us energy, give us strength, give us that quick get up and go. I mean, we all know what, you know, sometimes we're feeling kind of down. You know, a lot of people talk about the sugar fix. They need their sugar fix. Well, it's, in, it's interesting that that is a, a, a physiologic mechanism. Why we need blood sugar is because it does pick us up. And back in the day, 10,000, 15,000 years ago, when we're out and, out and about and we see a, a saber-toothed tiger coming at us, we need that energy to escape or another uh, cave person attacking us, whatever. We need it to get up and get out or fight. And that quick energy is obtained by sugar. So sugar is metabolized in our, uh, in, in our muscles. Uh, it's stored in our liver. It gives us energy. Uh, and our brain needs sugar for energy. That's why it's important that we eat sugar, that we take in sugar. But it's also important to know that why we need to know our sugar is not getting too high. Uh, because as, as it happens, too much of a good thing is not so good for us. And uh, the uh, definitely advertisers know this, the, the food industry knows this. Um, obesity back in, um, I, I think the statistics I'm looking here in 1962, 46% of adults were considered overweight or obese. In 2020, it's estimated that 83% of men and 72% of women are considered obese or adult women and men considered obese or overweight. I mean, that's no mistake. And it's coming from sugar. It's coming from sugar uh, in, in our diets mainly. And that's because sugar tastes so good, right? I mean, it does, it tastes so good and we need it. So it's a very bad combination. Uh, our body will produce sugar. Uh, it, it will produce sugar in, in uh, uh, and I'll discuss that again. I did that in an earlier video, but I'll mention it again here in, in a little bit. Uh, but uh, we do need to take what's called exogenous or outside our body sugar uh, through our diet. But it, because it tastes so good, because we need it, it's really hard to stop taking it. And the, uh, what, what the cakes, the candies, the ice cream, the soda, the fruit juices, the baked goods, they taste so good, but what they do to us is they wreak havoc on our system. They wreak havoc on our pancreas. They wreak havoc on our liver. They cause a lot of sugar to be stored as fat. So uh, by not understanding the effect it has on our body, it, it causes us to continue to, uh, uh, to repeat old patterns. And it's so important why we, we really should know what our blood sugar is because it actually will, and I know this from personal experience because I've been doing some of my own experimentation and I do know also uh, throughout my 30 plus years of medical practice that if you know what something is doing to you directly, you get direct feedback, it will cause you to change your habits. So if you don't know what the taking in that, eating that cookie is gonna do your blood sugar, you're gonna continue to eat that, that cookie. But if you know what your blood sugar is when you eat that cookie, I can almost guarantee you it's going to prevent you from eating at least more cookies. Um, so that's, that's important to kind of understand why, why knowing your blood sugar is, is kind of a, a big deal. Um, and <clears throat> you know, a lot of us, uh, you know, uh, diabetics, especially for many years, the only way they were able to monitor their blood sugar was through a blood test or uh, through a finger stick. And the finger sticks are very uncomfortable. If you haven't done them before, I, I don't want you to start because they just hurt, okay? 
Uh, if you have to do it, you have to do it. But there's a, a newer technology, which I'll discuss in a minute, that really uh, can give you instant feedback and can help you uh, know what your blood sugar is. But the, the finger stick is basically, you, you, give a, you have a lancet, which a little uh, uh, mechanism, it pricks your finger, you, you have to press out the blood, put a, a strip to collect the blood and then put it in a meter and it reads out. Um, it's very uncomfortable, you're not gonna do it, uh, if you, unless you have to and you have diabetes, but if you're really just wanting to know your blood sugar for general health purposes or to, just, or to lose weight, um, you're not, I know you're not gonna do that. Um, but there are continuous glucose monitors, CGM, which will give you instant feedback, and I am wearing one, as you can see, right now. Um, and I don't have diabetes, but I've used this um, over the last month or so to get direct feedback of what certain foods <clears throat> do to my blood sugar and why it's important. So it's really important to know what do red grapes do to your, your blood sugar? Well, I can tell you because I've done it. It shoots your blood sugar up. A banana, a ripe banana, shoots your blood sugar up. Well, as I, I mentioned, the, why it's important to know what your blood sugar is because it's important to know what it's doing to your body. And so when you ingest something that will shoot your blood sugar way up, the way it does that <clears throat> is because it goes into your bloodstream. A signal goes to an organ called the pancreas, which will put out insulin. Insulin will help take down your blood sugar. But if it's overwhelmed with sugar, you can't put out enough insulin. It's going to take time to get that blood sugar down. And the time it takes for that blood sugar to come down, your body doesn't need the excess anymore because you, you don't have any saber-toothed tigers to run away from or, you know, or, or predator, other predators. So it's going to take that excess and it's going to store it into fat. And you know what happens, okay? The fat just keeps getting more and more and more. And what you may not know is that fat puts out chemicals to now the insulin may not even work as well. So not only is the insulin spiking up, but it's not now opening up the key. I mean, it's, it's, it's not opening up the lock to let the sugar rush into your blood cells, uh, into your liver cells, into your muscle cells to get it out of the bloodstream. It will cause it to malfunction. And that's what causes insulin resistance, meaning the insulin doesn't work so well anymore. Insulin levels go up and it wreaks havoc on the body. So what is going on we, and, and why is it important <clears throat> to know what your blood sugar is because you don't want the havoc that it's going to cause. And there are diabetics that know the risks of diabetes and there are pre-diabetics. And if there's truly 83% of men, adult men and 72% of adult women who are going to be considered obese and overweight this year, that's a lot of diabetes that's gonna happen because type two diabetes is mainly a lifestyle disease. And it's mainly due to the fat and the insulin resistance that it causes. So there's too much blood sugar circulating. And what the blood sugar does is bad things. It mainly affects blood vessels. It will cause premature hardening of your blood vessels. So we've heard of hardening of the arteries, okay? Well, the hardening of the arteries happens at the, the, the first layer of the, of the uh, artery. Uh, so let's, let's think of this, the top and the bottom of your artery. It's, it's a, uh, a canal and blood, it sticks on it, it gets sticky. So you ever, uh, if you've eaten cotton candy or, or uh, oh, I've never done that, right? <laughs> or uh, uh, karma corn, and you know you get your hands get sticky. Well, a lot of that has to do with the blood sugar. And, it, and in a sense, it's sticking on your blood vessels and it's causing little uh, irritations. And it's that, those irritations cause little defects, little scarring, and that scarring becomes hardened. And what that can do is, over time, it will affect the small arteries first, and the small arteries are those that go to your, uh, the ends of your fingers or the ends of your toes, uh, that go to your, the, the retina and your eye, uh, the, um, 
the, around the nerves. You may have heard of neuropathy. Sugar can attach to those nerve cells and cause them not to function correctly. And then over time, it affects the large blood vessels, such as the aorta, or the which is the main artery that, that goes out of the heart, or uh, maybe not so much that, but the big arteries that surround the uh, the heart, the the coronary arteries, as well as the uh, arteries that supply that supply the brain, the carotid arteries, the arteries inside the brain. Well, all of those are going to be affected. That's why it's so important to know what your blood sugar level is. And until now, it was it's impossible. We just kind of had to shoot from the hip and and read books and and you know. Uh, find out, okay, well, this this uh, food is a, a low glycemic index food or, uh, it's a, uh, or a high glycemic index food, meaning it spikes the sugar way up quickly. And, and then we maybe, okay, we'll try a low carbohydrate diet for a while and think that's good for us. But if you don't have the consistency and the consistency can happen from direct feedback, knowing exactly what your blood sugar is and knowing exactly with certain foods, how they affect your blood sugar. And uh, it's, it's really, that's why it's so important uh, to do that. Um, you know, genetics do play a part in this. Um, I know that a lot of people will say, well, it's their genes, you know, their mother was fat, their father was fat, their grandmother, their grandfather, but a lot of that has to do with lifestyle. Uh, in you know, future videos, when I talk about anxiety, when I talk about spirituality, um, you'll learn how those affect how you view yourself now and how different habits are passed down and also uh, how genes can be changed due to different habits and how you could break those habits. So you could actually, let's say you are genetically prone to diabetes or you're genetically prone to obesity. Well, you could actually, by your lifestyle, change the way those genes interact. And so you won't be really prone to it anymore. You kind of fix that, that bad lineage. So it's really important to understand and to know the why behind uh, what, what the sugar does to your body and why it's important to know what your sugar levels are. Um, and, you know, I am going to um, help you uh, learn more about that in my Patreon video, where I discuss in detail and depth about these continuous glucose monitors and how you can get one for yourself and how that can help you with um, managing your blood sugar. Um, but there's another, there's some other, um, uh, other really important characteristics or um, I guess lifestyle tra traits and habits that you can develop by knowing your blood sugar. And one of them is, um, self-discipline. It does take a lot of self-discipline to, to stay healthy, to remain healthy, to be fit. Um, it takes an immense amount of self-discipline. And, and we know why, because we're bombarded every day uh, in, in the media, in commercials, uh, in the supermarket. But not only that, we're bombarded with stress and, and, and anxiety. And we often will self-medicate. And if, if we're not self-medicating with something like drugs or alcohol or cigarettes, which I'm not telling you to do, we, we end up self-medicating with um, uh, food. And the, the biggest culprit of the biggest medication that we, that we choose are sugary foods and some fatty foods also, because fat also provides a, a way for um, our body to store uh, in case you know, we need, in case there's a famine, let's say, and that's, that's such, so dramatic, uh, that in, in our society, most of you who are, uh, watching this video are not in a situation where you're faced with a famine, but our body does crave that as it does fats, as it does crave sugar. And between the combination of both of those, um, it will cause us to self-medicate with, with those comfort, comfort foods, if you will. But, the um, the idea of self control and what why knowing your blood sugar can help that is because as I mentioned, if you ate a cookie or let's say grapes at, at a certain time, uh, 
you'll know how that affects your blood sugar. So when you're eating it, you don't, maybe you don't have your continuous glucose monitor on or, um, you know, you've finished it it's, uh, um, because it only lasts for, for a short period of time and you, but you know how that affects your blood sugar. So without, with, without getting the direct feedback you did at one time, it will now allow you to say, whoa, wait a second, let me take a step back. Let me see if I could uh, not eat this cookie because of what it's going to do to me. And let me turn to something else. And those something else is I'll talk about in other videos, but um, it can actually, knowing your blood sugar will help you to develop that self-discipline, which is really important. And, they, and the other is self-honesty. Those two, two components, self-honesty and self-discipline, again, as I'll talk to you a lot about in, in other videos, are two traits which I feel are two of the most important traits to develop uh, better habits. And so being honest, knowing that you're gonna eat that cookie, you know it's gonna, know it's gonna uh, uh, raise your blood sugar. Being honest with yourself, you're gonna do it, whether, you know, if, if it's good for you or not, at least you're, you can be honest with yourself because you know that it's not good for you. And you know the effects, the long-term effects of what blood sugar will do to you. So as I mentioned, kidneys, eyes, the retina, the, uh, uh, the ends of your fingers and toes, um, heart, brain, all that stuff may not be bothering you now, but in, it, it's a slow build, it's a slow burn, if you will, and it, it'll happen over time. So that's, those are some of the things of why it's really important to, to, know your, uh, to know your blood sugar and how it can really shape your character, actually. Um, so, um, you know, I hope that, uh, that's helpful and, uh, it's all for now. Uh, please, uh, make sure you sign up, uh, to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Facebook. And if you haven't already join my, uh, pa my Patreon campaign. I know that you're going to get a lot of information that's more in depth and actually regarding this, uh, this content, it's, I'm going to go into real, uh, in depth, uh, discussion of how you can use your knowledge of blood sugar, why it's important to know your level, how you can apply that to losing weight and to achieving a fit weight. And that fit weight will translate into feeling much better. So until next time, I'm Dr. Charles, AKA Coach MD, hoping you stay strong in body, mind, and soul. Bye for now. Hey, Dr. Charles, Coach MD. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you think you have a friend who might benefit from this video, share it with them. For access to exclusive content, support my Patreon. There you'll get private access to videos, meditations, health tips, even relationship and financial tips. You'll have a say in what I produce and be able to participate in a monthly call with me. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.